So tonight's Rampage kicked off with Darby Allen facing off against Billy Gunn. And to be honest, I'm pretty shocked that Billy Gunn can still go as good as he does for his age. But in the end, Darby hit two coffin drops and pinned Billy Gunn. But after the match, the Gun Club would attack Darby and Sting, and they stood over them to end the segment. And then Tony Schiavone was backstage with QT Marshall. And QT said that in his upcoming match with CM Punk in Punk's hometown of Chicago on Dynamite, he would put Punk to sleep and embarrass him, which I think we all know is not going to happen because Punk never loses in his hometown. And then we had a TBS Women's Championship Tournament quarterfinal match. And this match was between Jade Cargill and Red Velvet. And obviously Jade was not going to lose because she's been on such a hot streak since her debut. Like other than Ruby Soho, I think she is the only other logical contender to the TBS women's title. Like the finals are obviously going to be Ruby Soho and Jade Cargill, but I honestly don't know which of them are going to win that match. But yeah, anyways, Jade hit Red Velvet with her jaded finisher and pinned her to advance to the semifinals. And then Tony Schiavone was backstage with CM Punk and he basically responded to QT Marshall's challenge, saying that he has in fact lost in Chicago, but he's also won in Chicago, so he accepted the challenge, and as far as what I said before about Punk never losing when he's in his hometown, I'm referring more towards his wrestling career, because I think he has a pretty good track record when it comes to matches in Chicago. And then we had our main event, which was Adam Cole and Bobby Fish taking on Jurassic Express. And yo, I know I sound like a broken record right now, but I gotta talk about Kyle O'Reilly again. Because at one point, Adam Cole and Bobby Fish hit Jungle Boy with their own variation of the tag team move, Chasing the Dragon, which was Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish's tag team finisher when they were in Red Dragon. And I don't know if that's teasing that Kyle O'Reilly is going to be here in AEW eventually, but I'm hoping it is. But yeah, this was just so exciting. I was really happy seeing Cole and Fish together again. But in the end, the Young Bucks would try to confront Luchasaurus at ringside and Christian Cage ended up coming out and he ran off the Young Bucks and Adam Cole with a steel chair. And back at the ring, Jungle Boy got Fish in the snare trap submission and made him tap out. So in the end, I was pretty disappointed because Cole just kind of abandoned Fish again. And I'm worried the more he abandons Fish, the less likely the Undisputed Era will reform within AEW but we'll see where this story goes from here. So yeah, overall, a good rampage, and we'll see what happens on Dynamite in Chicago.